I don't know at what point I started thinking there is a, this potential for us to do something really big. But somewhere in the last two or three months, as I was watching the information about vaccinations and kind of thinking through the timetable, mm -hmm. you know, and listening and watching our staff and our teams work on the projects they're working on, it dawned on me, and, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe I'm overestimating this, but I really believe there's something in this idea that this summer will be more important than any mm -hmm. summer has been in a long time for kids and teenagers when they have the potential to re-engage. Mm -hmm. And I know that's why we're launching something in a brand new way, only because we want to help lead and help partner with organizations around the world to help kids re-engage this summer in a way that they haven't been able to. I know another thing that's true, and I'll just say this really quick, is I'm talking to parents more and more now who are saying, look, we're being careful, we're doing everything that we can to stay safe and protect our community, but we're watching what's happening at home in our kids' lives, and we need some kind of opportunity for our kid to have relationships. Whatever that looks like, we're open to some way that our kid can have these important relationships. We want to challenge all of us to get ready to get ready for the light to come back on, to get ready for the doors to open back up, to get ready for people to be in spaces together again, so that we are ready as leaders, not simply to press play for us, but to help kids know what it means to press play and to re-engage again. That's why we've actually created something that I think is unbelievable, and this feels like an infomercial, but it's not an infomercial. <laughs> this is our passion because we actually believe the one thing we want to do that we haven't been doing, we haven't been able to do, is to lean in to all of our churches and all of our leaders and all of our volunteers and all of our families and say, we want to help everybody at this moment in time press play so that we can restart in a way that will make a big difference. And this is a big launch. I mean, mm -hmm. this is our VBS kit that we've talked about, but it's not just the ordinary VBS kit this year we have redesigned everything we started with the content we started with the content in the mind of what would we want to say to kids when they first show back up it's everything that i would want my own kids to know as a parent what i want them to know after you know 10 months of this pandemic uh, for me as an adult that feels like seven years to my kids i want them to understand that life is about being personal I mean, it's about being known. It's about knowing others. There's something in the message of it's personal that seems particularly important this summer. And the thing I love about that is I know when you first worked on the book, It's Personal, and you started digging into the story of Jesus in the New Testament, actually what Jesus did is he gave us all an invitation to press play, to engage. And what better way to jump right into the story of Jesus this summer to say to kids, you know what? Life has been crazy. Life has been unpredictable, just like it was in Jesus' day. And Jesus showed up in a way he wants us to show up for each other. And we want every kid who participates in this to kind of walk away because they've had this encounter with each other and this encounter with Jesus where they believe these five things about themselves. Uh, first of all, that they believe that they are known, that somewhere in the context of their life, they're not invisible and that they know they belong, that there is a community that they can connect with and that they know they're forgiven and they know they can change and they know they can make a difference. That all this shows up, what would it look like if simply coming out of all of this with depression that has skyrocketed, with anxiety that has skyrocketed, that kids actually have an experience this summer where these five things kind of go down deep in their core and they walk away as confident kids even in the context of a world that's uncertain. I mean, absolutely. I think it's personal. That idea resonates on so many different levels for families, um, for each one of us <laughs> personally. I think it connects. And as we're talking about VBS, I know in the back of my mind, when I think VBS, I have this specific picture of what VBS is. And I love that you were talking about how we reimagined all of the many, many ways mm -hmm. that somebody might create a summer experience. Not only have we rethought the content in light of COVID, in light of what every kid has experienced this last year, every family has experienced this last year, we rethought the context because we all know that's gonna have to change. We all know that VBS might not look the way that it's looked in the past. And so we actually have provided resources for four different maybe types 
of summer experiences that you might consider doing as a leader. And so one of those is an in-person, socially distanced VBS. Mm -hmm. So you might be in a place where you can gather families and kids personally, you know, maybe at your church, but we have some ideas about how you can be socially distanced and we've worked really hard as a team to provide some options that would make sure we're still protecting someone's safety even in a physical kind of VBS environment. Another one of those would be virtual or at-home VBS. So if you want to include families virtually online, our team has put together some amazing solutions for what that might look like. And I know our family has experienced some really powerful virtual experiences this last year. I've watched my kids as they've responded to leaders who've shown up in their life virtually and it's made a huge difference. So this is a still a really, really great option for doing something this summer, for pressing play virtually this summer. A third option is a drive-in VBS. So many of you have done drive-in experiences already, so you already know what this looks like and how this might work. But if you're looking for some more ideas, I mean, we would hope that you could check this out. Again, our teams have gathered some best of, best practices from what we've heard. And the fourth one would be maybe a neighborhood or backyard gathering. Maybe this gathering isn't at your church, and maybe it's not every family, but what if there were smaller gatherings that are more localized to communities, and that might be another way to make this the best summer ever. But we don't care how you do something this summer. I think we're just saying it's important that you do something this summer. Yeah.